Hey, this is Eric with CartoonLearning.com, and this is the part two of our face creation tutorial. Uh, we're going to create a character from start to finish, and each lesson builds off of the previous lesson. So, if you have a question about something we're doing, like uh, creating a skin style or something like that, uh, if I'm not walking you through it step by step, it's probably because we've already covered it in another tutorial. So. Just go back and, and uh, please be considerate. Go back to the other tutorials and check them out to make sure we haven't covered something before you go and send me an email or make a comment that asks me to clarify. Um, but this, the last face style that we created is definitely functional. It's definitely good. As I said before, I just happen to like this one a lot better. So I'll walk you through it now. All right. So we're starting with a blank vector layer. Come over here, highlight it, and then duplicate it. We need four layers total. Uh, the bottom one, we're going to rename whites this time. Layer two, we're going to rename pupils. Layer three, eyelid. And layer four this time, oops, will be our face. Uh, this is kind of backwards from last time, and you'll see why in a little bit. Uh, but we'll start with the face layer, and we're going to use our add points tool. And I've got auto weld off, I've got auto fill off, and I've got sharp corners on. Um, we'll just start with that and work from there. But use your add point tool to make a basic face. And I'll set the shape now, but you'll see what I'm doing in a little bit. This won't make much sense to you right now. Uh, of course, we overlap our last points and hit spacebar to weld them. Uh, and now we're going to come to the select uh, the um, draw shape tool, and we're going to turn off auto fill, and we're going to create a circle. Now we will select that circle, Control C, Control V and that will cut and paste it and then we just translate it over here and now we have our eye holes that are identical in shape and size now what we're going to do is uh, come over to skin and style one unless you have the debut version in which case um, you'll use your paint bucket tool but we'll come over to skin highlight it come over to create shape we do not want to create this as a shape. We want to select all of our points so that we get a hole in our face. Now hit the space bar to create our shape. If you have debut, you would do the exact same thing, except you wouldn't come over here to, to uh, click on style one. Instead, you would just use your select shape to, or create shape tool. You would highlight it, space bar, create your shape, and then come over and use your paint bucket and then paint right here and fill this whole thing in um, and then leave your eye holes empty okay now we're going to select the whites layer we're going to turn off skin for those with the pro version turn off advanced turn our fill color oops turn our fill color white uh, we'll turn stroke white we don't really need stroke but um, let's use this let's turn on auto fill turn off auto stroke We'll keep the circle and we'll just make an ellipse right here. And the goal, we'll grab translate points tool. The goal is just to have this cover uh, behind the whites of the eyes and we'll get it as close to the edge as we can. And I'll show you why when we um, do our head turn. Uh, now this point, oops, we can just hit G to select points. And now we come up to our curvature, and we can actually um, get these a little bit closer to where we want them by clicking and then drag to the right. So that looks pretty good. Okay, now let's go up to the pupils layer, and as we did with the first head that we made, um, we'll turn, oops, turn on auto fill, turn on auto stroke, Doo -doo -doo -doo. black, black, and use the shift. So we'll create a pupil, uh, control C, control V, and then we'll move it over to the other eye. We'll get them centered where we want them. That looks pretty decent. All right, 
Okay, next part. Uh, come up to the eyelid, and now we're going to actually going to we're eh, going to actually create another layer. We'll create a switch layer, and we'll name the switch layer eyelid. Um, actually, we're going to use this character for a while. Usually, if it's a layer that I'd like to grab often, I'll do it in all caps just so it stands out. It's easier to find when you have a a tree for a character that consists of you know a hundred layers. This just makes it a lot easier. So, all right, now grab your eyelid vector layer and slide it up into your eyelid switch layer. Now make sure your eyelid vector layer is highlighted uh, and then come over here to the draw shape tool and yeah, we'll use a rectangle. Um, so come up here. If your debut, you're going to use your paint bucket tool and you're going to create a skin colored layer. If you're pro, click advanced, click skin, uh, and of course all this is building off of our first tutorial. And just create a box right here. And then select your upper two points, select your curvature tool, and we'll turn them rounded and then uh, just turn it down a little bit and we can move them in to where we want them and that should be pretty good. Now the advantage of doing it this way is you have an eyelid that's always going to follow the shape of your eye hole. So if you're going to create a character you want to use the same basic head shape but you want to make him um, a little squinty eyed or something you can move your eye hole and then just change the shape of this basic figure and then we can use actions in order to animate the eyelids closing and stuff. Um, and I'll show you more about what I mean in a little bit, but this just, it's so much more versatile, it's unbelievable. The other benefit is, uh, as you saw the problem with the other head, select the pupil, pupil layer and then the layer tool. We're going to translate this whole layer. With the other head, you couldn't go any farther than um, the edge of the eyeball, because after that your pupils went outside of your eye. But with this, of course, they're underneath, um, so you don't see them when it moves. And your uh, rendered look is like that. So you can roll the eyes back in the head a little further. You can make them go off screen. It's, it's just nice. It gives you more options. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up the eyelids uh, for this part of the tutorial. So we'll come up to eyelid, and I want to make a duplicate layer. We'll name this one uh, upper. We'll name this one upper and lower. So go ahead, select these points. Control C, Control V, flip the shape vertically and translate it down to the bottom. And now we have some bottom eyelids that are ready to close. Uh, now let's create a duplicate of this. We'll call this fully closed. And we can move this down. Now we grab it, hit G to select points, T to translate them, and we'll move them right down all the way to the bottom. So now we have fully closed. Now let's duplicate this and go uh, uh, part, whoops, let's go upper, partly closed, and we'll translate them up to about there, and then let's go, we'll duplicate it again, and we'll move this up, and we'll move this up, and name this bottom partly closed and that should be good for now and we'll be able to use these for actions in the next tutorial we'll cover how to use an action for your eyelids so you can slowly make them blink okay that's all for now visit cartoonlearning.com